Well, hello and welcome to another episode by Financial Learning. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about CleanSpark, the Bitcoin mining company, and one of their latest press releases. This one was dated on October 31st, 2024, and has to do with them acquiring Grid Infrastructure Inc. officially. So there has been some discussions, there has been some press release information, as well as some filings about the back and forth about this specific acquisition. But as of October 31st, it has officially happened, folks. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, folks, I wanna go ahead and talk to you about that press release. Again, this is dated October 31st, 2024, and this is between CleanSpark Inc. and Grid Infrastructure. Now, the reason this finally was able to be announced is because the Grid Infrastructure shareholders actually put this to a vote and it was approved on October 28th. So following that vote, uh, the, they were able to finally formalize this acquisition and this merger. Uh, I say merger because the grid infrastructure was already a traded company and their shares are being converted over to CleanSpark shares as well as some of their warrants. I'll go ahead and flash up some of that SEC filing on some slides uh, as we continue forward. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about this specific acquisition. So as you can see here, this was for 400 megawatts. They were already being hosted by Grid for 50 megawatts. So they're already going to be getting a significant boost in terms of mining capacity and mining capabilities there in Tennessee. So I am very much excited to see what this means for the quantity of Bitcoin that CleanSpark is gonna be able to mine per day, as well as what their new hash rate will end up being. So that information, I'm assuming, will get disclosed in the near future. I'll also be sharing a video about some hardware purchase that CleanSpark has done um, just this past weekend. It was announced on Friday. But before I move on, I just wanna go ahead and read a quote by CleanSpark Inc's CEO. This is Zach Bradford says, I'm pleased to announce the completion of our acquisition of Grid Infrastructure Inc., a strategic move that allows us to grow our Bitcoin mining capacity in the state of Tennessee, which we intend to build over 400 megawatts in the coming years. So again, I already mentioned that, but just wanted to quote the CEO there. That is huge, folks. Um, I'm very much excited. This does allow CleanSpark to continue to expand. As you all know, when it comes to mining Bitcoin, it does become more and more difficult the more blocks that are mined. So you have to continue to look for ways to grow, ways to uh, convert some of your hardware over to the latest and greatest to make it more efficient. And you have to have a good relation with some of the power generation companies. You've gotta get some strategic partnerships or get some st strategic contracts written to where you're able to reduce the cost for that Bitcoining mining power. So that in itself is a huge, huge feat. I'll talk a little bit about that on a different video, but just wanted to uh, bring that relevance here when it comes to CleanSpark. As I mentioned, Grid Infrastructure is a publicly traded company or was. Now those shares are being converted over to CleanSpark shares and they do talk a little bit about that conversion ratio. So for every um, Grid share, the Grid shareholders will be getting a conversion to 0 0.069559, a share of CleanSpark. So that is important because if you wanna understand um, how many total additional shares will be getting added to CleanSpark. You'll need to look at what grid infrastructure's common share count was and then what this conversion rate will be. And again, these uh, shares will just be getting added to the current um, float. There will be no sale or purchase when it comes to this. They're just going to be getting added. So the float will grow. Another thing that you do need to be cautious about when you are looking over these filings, make sure you fully understand the inner workings of them because there are some warrants that have not been exercised from grid infrastructure uh, investors. Those warrants are also going to be getting converted over to clean spark warrants and they talk a little bit about that in detail in those sec filings so make sure you're reading those as well folks 
make sure you get a good understanding of what investors were previously invested with grid infrastructure because those same people are now going to be part of the clean spark investment group so it's going to be important um, to understand are they long-term value type investors who want the company to continue to grow and succeed and see their investment continue to grow or are they looking for some of these more technical type trades where they're you know betting on the opposite of that so it's gonna be really important you understand these investors all right and here is one of those sec filings that i was talking about you can find this on the sec.gov i'm not going to go over it in detail this is more about the press release but i just, just want to share uh, just a couple of these details with you all you can actually see exactly how many warrants of common stock are going to be getting converted um, due to this merger so grid had an outstanding unexercised warrant uh, quantity of 13 million eight hundred thousand shares of common stock with an exercise price of eleven dollars and fifty cents so remember that ratio i talked about you need to take that ratio you're going to multiply that ratio or divide that ratio um, against 1150 and you're going to get a new dollar amount per share for clean spark and that is going to be the new exercise price for these warrants and that is going to be 165 dollars and 24 cents per share so that is a very large uh, price amount considering right now clean spark is trading uh, somewhere between 10 and 11 dollars depending on when you're watching this video um, so just want to kind of uh, point that out as well. And then it talks about how many total shares um, will those uh, warrants be converted to. And it is 960,395. So those will be additional shares that will be added to CleanSpark in the form of dilution if these warrants are converted. Now, the company will have an opportunity to purchase those warrants um, instead of having them converted, it's really up to them and their strategy. I will be interested to see if they touch on that at all in the days or weeks to come. Another uh, portion from this filing, I just want to kind of uh, read this little section here. It says, if the foregoing conditions are satisfied and the company issues a notice of redemption of the company public warrants, each company public warrant holder will be entitled to exercise his, her, or its company public warrant prior to the scheduled redemption date. However, the price of the shares of common stock may fall below $18 redemption trigger price, as well as the $165.24 company public warrant exercise price after the redemption notice is issued. All right, and that wraps it up for me, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, drop a comment, let me know your thoughts about this, let me know what other types of content you'd like to hear me cover. And with all that said, hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.